Listen, man, you watching this video for a reason, man. I'm about to tell you something that you probably doing and it, it's draining you. It's making you feel depleted. And you be wondering, you probably be wondering like, yo, where my energy go, man? Why I don't feel like in, in, in my tr true state today? Why I don't feel extremely happy today? And you know you a good person. You know you mean well. You know you putting in that work and everything else. Listen, I'm going to tell you what you're doing, man. One thing you need to stop doing is you need to stop putting your time and effort into people who is not interested in you, okay? You got to stop chasing people from this video forward who is not highly interested in you. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why, all right? It's your big brother, Trend Man. Listen, y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Listen. Listen, man, I ain't going to tell you no shit that you don't already know. Just listen close to what I'm saying. Hey, look, at the end of this video, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you know Big Bro got something very special for you. Listen, man, listen. Listen. You ever been around somebody, you, you, ever, you ever had somebody like try to holler at you or something, and they, they you know, they tried to come and get your number or something like that, and, and you turned them down, you're like, ah, nah, I don't even, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm straight, though. You know what I'm saying? And then this person started to say, like, what, 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 what? Like, what? You ain't gonna give me your number. What, what? You know what I'm saying? And they was like, you don't know me. You don't know who I am. Like, no, I don't know who you is. You can Google me. You can Google me right now. Type it in. No, I don't wanna Google you. Shit, I don't give a damn about who you is. You can Google me. <laughs> so? We, you can Google everybody's name on the internet. Everybody got a profile. Oh, you ever been around people like that? You know what I'm saying? Listen, folks, you don't want to, you don't want people like that. You don't want people that's crazy interested in you. Now, that's the difference between, you know what I'm saying, people that's like really, really interested in you and versus people who like really just interested in you. And in this video, I'm, I'm explaining to you the two different type of people because I can guarantee you it's some Decepticons in your life. You might think they're interested in you, but they're interested in a little something else. And I'm about to tell you what they interested in, but you got to stay tuned to the end of this video, man. It's your big brother, Trent. Listen, man, this, if you, if you want to start living better, you want to start living more free, more happy, more stress-free, more worry-free. The number one thing that you got to stop doing is you got to stop trying to show out for people. You, meaning you got to stop giving your attention to everybody else. You ever went into a restaurant one time and you were just chilling? You know, you a highly aware person. You know, you're a chosen when you're a star see shit. It ain't nothing that you don't see. You know what I'm saying? But you went into this restaurant and you sat down and eat and you know, you ordering food. Y'all might get some drinks or whatever. And you just notice everybody like, they looking at y'all like, damn, am I just making eye contact with everybody? Damn. He looking at me, he over there with his girl. Shit, am I over there too at the same time? Huh? How, do I, how do I make this happen? Listen, folks, this is what people is doing on a regular basis and they don't even know that they doing it. You know what I mean? Shouts out to all my star seed women out there. But listen, star seed women, it's women out here who want attention from you so bad. They'll be looking at you to see if you looking at them. Failing to realize they giving all of their energy away to you. They giving all their energy away to everything that's outside of themselves. And that's why they go home and they be all angry and all bitter. Because they done gave out all their energy away to everybody else. Listen, folks. You got to get in the habit of minding your own damn business, man. I'm telling you. You got to start being stingy. Yeah, you got to start being more selfish. I know that this is the complete opposite of what they taught you to be. You know what I mean? You got to start keeping your good blessings. You got to start keeping your good blessings that come from the Lord that's blessing you for all the good that you do. I know they told you to give this shit all up and to take it to the Goodwill and the charity and the thrift store and all that, but you can't do that forever. You got to keep some of them clothes. If not, you're going to be butt naked. And when you get butt naked, ain't nobody going to come see you. Ain't nobody going to come to your house. You butt naked. You butt naked. You don't gave all your stuff away. Now you butt naked. Now ain't nobody gonna come and get you no clothes. Oh, where do you do that at? Keep your good blessings. 
Keep your attention on yourself. When you go out into the public, don't worry about the people looking at you. I can guarantee you, if you stop making eye, eye contact with people when you go out into the public, the whole room where you at going to be looking at you. Everybody is going to have their attention on you. And guess what they're going to be saying in their mind when you're not giving them your attention? They're going to say, who is that? Damn, he ain't looked at me yet. That's what the girls going to say in the room, fellas. When, when you walk in the room, see, most guys, when they walk in the room, they be walking in the room. Big shoulder, they be poking their chest out. No, and they weak. No, and they weak. Here they go. Trying to use their voice. Yeah, like totally, like really, you know. Oh, yeah. Loud and shit, like gorillas and shit. Like, you don't got to be that loud, dude. You don't have to be that. But see, they doing that because they want attention from all the girls. Now, if you the guy that walk in there, you know what I mean, and you're not giving your attention to everybody, you know what I mean? You're going to have all the attention on you. You become the center of the spotlight. You become the center of attention because all them people who you did not pay no damn attention to, they're going to be wondering, why are you looking at me? Why don't you look at my new dress? See, everybody got on a new damn outfit and they want you to see it. But if you don't look at their new outfit, if you stop looking at her shoes, you stop looking at her teeth. Then she gonna say, how dare he not look at me? And I guarantee you, she gonna do some funny shit. She gonna get up from the table with her man where she at, bro. Then she gonna come walk right behind you so you can smell that perfume. Nigga, she gonna get your attention whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh. Then you gonna look to the left like, damn. Damn, Miss Parker. That's when she gonna get you. And that's when she gonna take your attention. Folks, Listen. Listen to your big brother, trans genius, man. Listen, if you want to feel better about yourself, if you want to be stress-free, if you want to be happy, if you want to do great things, man, you have to have all of your energy. You got to stop giving your attention away to people that's not interested in you. All right. Now, listen, check this out. When you start doing good. Now, some of y'all already doing this. OK, some of y'all already can see the results coming in. You know, some of y'all wake up with a little smirk on your face like. I'm just so ready for the day. <laughs> Woo! Some of y'all just wake up, just be ready to go and shit. Be, be having the music playing and shit in the car on your way to work. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all already doing this shit, all right? But one thing you got to understand is there are going to be a lot of people who begin to gravitate towards the new you, all right? When you start having enough prosperity to be able to buy more clothes or when you start being able to have enough money to be able to go out and do things so you can take more pictures and shit. Get a picture with me right here. Yeah, right here in front of the statue. Let me see that phone. Let me see that phone. Let me see that phone. Now, he ain't taking it right. He ain't taking it right. Do it, oh, do it, oh, do it. When you start going places and taking vacations and people start buying you flights and shit, and you want to start taking pictures and shit that look good on Instagram that everybody going to like, you better get ready because the wave of Decepticons is going to come your way. It's going to be a lot of people that come your way because they so-called interested in you, all right? Only to find out, though, when you actually get with them or when you link up with them and have a conversation with them, okay, lo and behold, you invite them into your circle, into your life. Some people, you're going to find out they're not really interested in you. they just interested in what you got going on. they trying to figure out how you making your money. You ever been with somebody, you know what I'm saying? You a, fellas, you ever been with a girl, whatever, you invite her over to the house or some shit. You know, it's her first time over. Soon she get over. Soon she get over. Y'all walk Y'all walk in the door, right? Y'all walk in the door together. You know, you, you happy to have your shit. She at your crib. You ain't no telling what's going to go down, bro. She walking in the crib with you, you like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all walk in the crib together. You go sit on the sofa. You hoping that she going to follow the route, follow suit, and sit on the sofa beside you. What's the first thing she do, fellas? Oh, it's nice in here. Is this yours? Or is it the Airbnb? It's mine, you know what I'm saying? I'm just paying for, you know, I'm renting it out with this with this dude, my friend or whatever. Oh, okay, okay. You know, what the next day she said, fella, where the bathroom at? Like, damn, she already done went looking for the bathroom. She walked, this is nice. This is nice. Then she get in your bathroom and shit, fella. She get in your bathroom. Oh, shit, she investigates. She looking through the drawers and everything. Looking through, looking at, trying to smell the damn trash trash can, make it, trying to see if hair on the floor from other girls and shit. You know what I mean? Smelling the rags. Then she come out the bathroom. Hey, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, you, where you work at? 
Boy, they start, see, see, the thing I'm trying to get you to understand is, see, some people ain't really with you because they're interested in you or because you, they, you look good, like you think they is. Some people is really have ulterior motives, man. Some people really is ill intentions. Like some people really just trying to get with you so they can get something out of you. That's why when you get with certain people, you got to be careful because some of them ain't really interested in you like they think they is. If you starting to feel like you on the first 48 or some shit, where they be asking you all these questions, that's how you know they not really interested in you. They trying to figure something out about you. They want something that you have, okay? And these, you got to stop giving people like that your, your energy, your attention. Now, on the contrary, as you are doing good, as you are becoming your greatest potential, you know, the best person ever, all right, loving yourself, you healing all your past life traumas, you know what I mean? You stepping into your divine power, you, you walking your path and carrying your cross. The more you do that, you will also have people that come into your life that's very interested in you, like on a real conscious level, like they really interested in you. Those are the people that you need to take heed to, folks. Those are the people that you need to be around you, okay? People that really love you. I'm talking about people that really love you. People that want to cook for you. Okay, you got to keep in mind, folks, you are a high-value person. If you're a high-value person like Big Bro, then you listening to the right video. If you ain't high-value shit, I don't expect you to listen to the whole video. Because you will not understand what I'm saying. It just don't register with your brain right. But if you're a high-value person... You expect everything to come to you at the right place, at the right time. You a divine being. And God said, you're supposed to have more than enough. Okay? More than enough. You're supposed to be abundant. So, if you have people that come into your life that's very interested in you, they'll cook for you. You should try this shake. You should do this health regimen. Oh, I can come pick you up. They ain't even worried about if you ain't got no car or nothing. They ain't asking questions like the other girls. What you driving? I thought, what you driving? Um, can I, where the keys at? Let me go get the keys. You got a car? You ain't even got no car. And then what you, what you got? Pinto? A, a goat car? You know what I mean? They ain't worried about that. They just trying to help you. People that come into your life that's really interested in you folks, you will know who they are by the fruits that they bear. They always trying to help you with your goal. When you start talking about your vision, they get happy. They get excited. They start giving you ideas. They want to know what you do for a living. They come into your life. Man, man I heard you do this, man. I, I heard you make music, man. Um, um, They don't say, ah, I make music too. Check out my music, man. Check out my sound, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. DJ Funkstar. Yeah, yeah. you like, damn, I thought you just liked me because of my music. You know what I mean? They come into your life. They say, hey, I can produce for you, man. I, I, hey, I, I, I ghostwrite. I can write a song for you. Hey, I can bring you water in the studio. What do you need? I know somebody that uh, I know somebody that, that has a bunch of clothes. You can wear clothes for your video shoot. These are the people that's really interested in you, folks. Take pride in these people. The universe is going to see that people that you love the most is not interested in your vision. Okay? Like you think they is. And the universe is going to move them out your life. And the universe is going to bring a totally different type of tribe into your life. And that will be your tribe. And you will know if they for you. These people will almost act like they your damn employees. They will act like they your butlers. Okay? Fellas, you know how a girl is really interested in you? Okay? She ain't asking a bunch of questions. She don't care where you live. She don't care if you wear designer or regular clothes. Okay, she don't care if you shop in Balenciaga or Roses. She don't give a damn. She just like you because you make her feel good, dude. You respect her and she respect you, dog. She ain't coming to play investigator. She ain't researching to see if you're doing anything wrong. She's comfortable with herself. She got her own shit going on. She do wealth management or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? She 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 a CEO or something. See, this is how you know when the universe starts bringing you a totally different type of people into your life. You don't got to bow down to these peasants no more. You don't got to give all your time and your energy to these Decepticons no more who just, who listening to what you trying to do, but they don't want to give you no credit. They don't want to give you no recognition. You will know who the people who are interested in you by the way they treat you and the way they make you feel. Stop chasing people who is not interested in you. Bruh, if you go up to the chick and you ask her, you know, what's her number or what's her name? And she say some, she say some negative shit, bro. You should be like this. 
You shouldn't even comment. See, some of y'all be looking. You ugly anyway. You ain't got no butt. You ugly. You fake. And I don't even know why I got your number anyway. I don't even know why I even tried to holler at you. I don't even want you no more. You ain't that. Yeah. Bro, you already done gave your energy and your attention away to her. Now she feeling good when she go home. He wanted me. <laughs> Knowing she ugly. He wanted me. Somebody wanted me today. Yeah. She gonna use that energy for the next three days when she ain't never really had no energy. I'm just telling y'all, stop chasing people, bro. Stop giving your energy and your hard time, hard, your free time. You know, stop giving your God-given time to people who not interested in you. Okay? Now, you got to also be careful. Like, once again, like I said, you got to be careful because you, it'll be some people that are just way too interested in you. Way too interested in you. You be getting text messages back to back. Ding, 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 ding. Like, damn. Can I piss? Can I take a shit? Ding, 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 ding. Then they send a long ass paragraph messages too. You don't even want to read it. Like, oh, shit. Who is that? That's Ronnie texting me again, trying to explain to me that he's sorry. He's sending long, big, long messages. Baby, you know, I, I want to say I apologize. Well, God so God always taught me, and, and he says that you should do the right thing, and, and we eat on the seventh day. And, and girl, I just want to let you know you are beautiful. You are very beautiful. And most guys need to know how to treat a black woman because black women are beautiful. And I just want to let you know if I can take you out any day, you know, no, 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 not today. We don't have to go out today, but we can go out anytime. I'm here for you, baby. I'm still in the game. Shivery ain't dead. I'll open your car door. I'm, I'm the type of dude to put rose petals out in the, in before you go in the shower type of shit. You know, I'm a real man. I can take you out, baby. We can take a flight and do all this. Shut up. Shit. Somebody press mute. Oh, what is Decepticon doing too much? They too interested in me. See, that's how you know somebody just crazy as hell. Now, like I said, you got to use wisdom. There will be some people who just crazy interested in you. You don't want to deal with them. Them probably narcissists. You know how narcissists do. They always come off like they your best friend. Like they like they're gonna be your your husband or your she gonna be your wife or something. Then when she finally gets your ass on that hook, she gonna reel you in like plenty of fish. She gonna reel you in, dog. Then she gonna catch you. And she's going to throw your ass in the bucket with the rest of them fish. And next thing you're going to know, you're going to build another crab in the bucket just trying to climb to the top. And the whole time, she not really interested in you. She just need your attention. She just need your energy, folks. That's why I'm telling y'all, stop. Listen, y'all, you got to learn how to say no to people. All right? Man, my life changed, man. Personally, I used to be a yes man all the time. And I used to think, oh, God going to bless me because I'm letting everybody use me. And I'm giving everybody my time for free. That's how I used to think. And I never had nothing. I was always broke as a joke. You know what I mean? Nobody respected my words. Nobody respected my, my vision or nothing because I was just a little pushover. I was just a yes man. But the moment I started to realize that I am somebody and, and what I have is for me. I don't have to give out everything that I earn to everybody else who don't deserve it. That's when my life began to take take course. That's when people started to recognize me versus me looking at everybody else. You know what I mean? You got to start telling people no. If you don't want to mess with people, say, say no. Fellas, don't be scared to turn down girls. You know, she come off way too interested. She coming off all icky and she the first sentences that she messages you is all toxic and shit. Bruh, say no. Don't even waste your time talking to that Decepticon. You feel me? Start saying no. Start putting your foot down. Stop chasing people. If they don't text you back, nigga, stop texting. Ladies, if he don't text you back, let him go. Let him go. You know what I'm saying? Don't chase people because when you chase people, you lowering your value and you giving your energy and your attention away to somebody who don't deserve it. And most of the time, if you a high value person like you say you are, most people will come into your life just to steal that energy and that joy and that good spirit from you. That's their whole objective is to get close to you, to get next to you and then take your joy from you because it makes them feel good. It makes them feel like somebody when in all actuality, the reason why they're your friend or try to get next to you because they knew there was nobody. So they had to get next to somebody to make them feel like somebody. Be mindful of the people who you chase. 
Be mindful of the people who you put your time and effort into. Remember, folks, if they not really treating you like you're the chosen one, if they not treating you like gold, if people is not buying you gifts because you're just a great person, you know what I mean? If people can't take you out and serve you, if people can't do something for you in return for everything that you're doing with them, you need to tell them, bye-bye, holla, see you later, hater, see you later. See you later, player. I love you. See you later. I gotta go. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you know, you ever been in the room with people? You didn't even want to be there. You just feel the negative energy and shit. And the whole time the conversation going on, they want to talk to you, but you want to leave the room so bad, you just edging your way out. Like, I, I, yeah, I remember. Damn, Uncle Ray Ray done got me into another damn conversation. Yeah, Ray Ray. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, y'all. All right, all right y'all. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll see y'all later, man. I'll I, 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 I talk to y'all later, man. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll call you tomorrow. Then when you get in the car, you be like, damn. I ain't call nobody. Shit. I ain't even want to be there. They ain't really interested in me like they th like they act like they is. I know they all fake. I know there's some Decepticons. Where they do that at? Oh, it's your big brother, Trend Jeans, man. I told you, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I got something very special for you. Man, look, I told y'all, bro, it's a lot It's a lot of big new YouTubers coming up. <laughs> They're going to be making six figures like big bro um, come this year because they get in my course and I'm telling them everything that I know. <laughs> I'm giving them a cheat sheet to success when I, they should be doing the work and went through what I went through to get to that success. But, you know, I'm doing it for my people. I'm doing it for the chosen one. I'm doing it for the star seeds. I'm doing it for everybody to follow Big Bro, man. If you want to start YouTube and you want to be successful in it and you want my bread and butter on how I got here, I'm giving it all back. I'm giving it all back to everybody that want to start their own YouTube channel versus just watching Big Bro all the time. Start your own shit. Huh? Each one, teach one. So look at the very bottom in the comment section, folks, and you'll see where it says, uh, New Year's coupon for my YouTube course. Get my YouTube course. You'll be on your way this year, 2022. Don't wait. Start now. With that being said, folks, remember what I said, man. Don't give your time. Stop giving your interest to people who really not interested in you like that. Let them go. Let them be what they need to be. Just not, not with you. Okay? Subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all in one of these next videos, man. Peace.